guys, how are you doing today? I hope that you're doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. So, if you've noticed, my voice is kind of gone. Aaron had a cough and he he shared it. Yes. So, I'm um, coughing and my my voice is kind of gone, you know, as it does when you cough. Though Aaron's cough did not cause his voice to do this. So that is something. So let's just get into today's video before my voice goes away. <laughs> okay, so today's video is all about my summer recommendations. I have three cozy mysteries that I am super, super excited about reading and that I feel just give off summery vibes. Like they just make me go, thank goodness summer is almost here. So the very first one I have is much ado about not or like nauticaling, like nautical like boats with a little little little, little, little cat with a little oh look it's just so cute. This is by Gabby Allen. This is the first in the series. It it, it releases um July 27th. So right in the middle of summer. And um this is a wit and whiskers mystery and it looks Guys, just tell me that that does not scream summer to you, okay? The first in the Wit and Whisker mystery series begins with Whitney Danger, or Dagner, um, back home in Santa Catalina Island, helping with the family boat tour business as a guide to the Pacific paradise until paradise turns deadly and she must dive deep into the unknown and navigate her eager ex to exonerate her brother. Ah, I think that this is absolutely fantastic. I am so excited to to read it. It says, after too many years in Los Angeles corporate world, Whitney Dagner has come home to Santa Catalina Island off of the California coast to help her brother Nick run Nautically Yours, the family tourism business. Between gift shops, shifts, selling all manner of t-shirts and chotskis, and keeping her feline whisker in fine fettle, she pilots the Seabounder, a glass bottom boat showing tourists the underwater sights of aquatic plants, marine life, and a murder victim that just sounds you know chef's kiss sounds fantastic i am eager to to read this um the next book i have is arsenic and adobo this is the um cozy escape book club book for may so if you haven't picked it up and you want to join our um live stream you should go and pick it up this is the first book in the Tita Rosie's Kitchen Mystery Series by Mia um, Manasala. And I have talked about it before, but it says um, when Lila uh, moves back home to recover from a horrible breakup, her life seems to be following the typical uh, rom-com tropes. She's tasked with saving her Tita, Tita Rosie's failing restaurant, and she has to deal with a group of matchmaking aunties who shower her with love and judgment. But when a notoriously nasty food critic, who happens to be her ex-boyfriend, drops dead moments after a confrontation with Lila, her life quickly swerves from Nora Ephron Romp to an Agatha Christie case. Bless you, Willow. Everybody has a cold here. The the colors of this really really give me sort of the summery kind of vibes. So I I I am living for this. I don't know if it actually is based in the summer or not, but I love that like there's a glossary and pronunciation guide. Um that just makes my my heart super super happy. I can't wait to dive in and learn more. Um, about the culture and just I think this just sounds so much fun it's probably going to be my next read and then another one whose cover won it was an instant buy and um, I it just screams like summer to me is pride and uh, premeditation um, it's a Jane Austen murder mystery by tears I think it's tears off price Tears off price. Look how gorgeous that is. It's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cover. And 
I am not a huge um, like classics person. I don't really normally read classics, but I mean, Cozy's in classics. Why not try that out? Am I right? Am I right? So um, it says, Pride and Prejudice gets a murder mystery makeover. Like how awesome does that sound? In the new series based on Jane Austen's most beloved books. Maybe I should do like a read this versus this. Should I do that guys? Should that be a series where I actually read a classic and then I read the, the uh, book, like the cozy edition of it? Let me know. Let me know down below. Okay, when a scandalous murder shocks London high society, 16 year old law enthusiast Lizzie Bennett sees the perfect opportunity to prove herself as a formidable um, litigator, despite the fact that women are only allowed in court as witnesses. Unfortunately for Lizzie, the man accused of the crime already has a fledgling lawyer, Mr. Fitzwilliam Darcy. The stern young heir training to take over the prestigious firm Pemberley and Associates. Convinced the authors have blamed the wrong person, Lizzie vows to steal Darcy's client and solve the murder so she can earn a position of her own. Darcy become, um, sorry, but in this case, her feelings for Darcy become more complicated. Lizzie discovers that her dream job could make her happy, but it could also get her killed. Um, irresistibly romantic and clever, it says, and I... I instant bought this whenever it got like sent out to me like, hey Courtney, have you seen this cozy? And I was like, uh, no, I haven't, I need it in my life. So yeah, these are the three books that I recommend for some summer cozies. So that is Pride and Premediation, um, Arsenic and Adobo, and Much to Do About Nauticlean. And I hope that you are just as excited. What are some um, books that you're super, super thrilled about for reading in the summer. Do you have cozies that you love in the summer or are you more of a rom-com kind of person? Let me know down below. That's the end of this chapter of Courtagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time guys, happy reading. Bye.